Testing into early access today, your gun is, despite its futuristic setting, an old school top down shooter, or shoot 'em up, or shmup, or whatever you want to call it, in which you take control of a blue mech and mow down endless waves of red corruption with a little help from your little friends, making you a metal Tony Montana. Say hello to my little friend! So get your Coke, a cola, and popcorn ready, because today we're putting your gun under the Mega the Microscope. As with most shmups, Eurogun's gameplay emphasizes fast twitch reflexes, so get ready to Euro run for your life against a dozen or so enemy types, ranging from small and speedy to big and beefy. The same alliterative adjectives could be applied to your weaponry. The shotgun and minigun are both good at cleaning up close range enemies, while you'll probably want to pair each with either the long range rocket launcher or the longer range railgun to knock out those annoying ranged enemies. Each weapon here feels pretty balanced and is fun to use and even more fun to upgrade. That's that's right, as you progress through each level, none of which will last you more than 5 or so minutes, you'll stumble upon these little sonic style rings, or intel, that you'll use to upgrade each weapon's range, rate of fire, and damage. Personally, I wouldn't have minded a bit more inventiveness here, as I can't say I haven't already seen these guns and their modifications in a hundred other shooters. Luckily, guns aren't your only means of attack here, as your gun features a quote heat resource that's linked to both special attacks and healing. Now unless you've got DDR fingers, you're probably going to take a lot of hits here, and they hurt. As a consequence, I found myself disincentivized to use heat attacks, because when I did, I'd run out of heat, and inevitably die for a subsequent lack of heals. Thankfully, Eurogun gives you a few lives per level, and I consequently managed to see the end of early access without ever facing a game over screen. Well, unless you count this. Ouch. This leads me to Eurogun's playability. Despite the game's intuitive controls and snappy load times, I did encounter that hard crash and the occasional lag spike, so consider me neutral until further notice. Not the case for Eurogun's combat, which is fast, fluid, and fun, worthy of a soft 4 with room to improve. There's virtually nothing here in the way of non-combat, however, short of some little collectibles scattered about the map that unlock hand-drawn memories. I'll save our discussion on UI for later, so let's move on to content. When it comes to world, Eurogun, fittingly, takes you all over the world. However, the overall effect here ends up feeling a tad hollow, and not the good kind, as each region is essentially just a reskin of the others. The North Cascades play like Barcelona with a foot of snow, for example, and Hong Kong is really just Barcelona on rooftops. To fix this feeling, I'd love to see the devs add some environmental interactivity. Let me shoot a snow-capped mountain to bury enemies in an avalanche, or obscure enemy movement with a sandstorm, you know? Just, just go crazy. Ditto this train of thought for the game's objectives, as is you'll always either be outlasting a horde meter, blowing up a radio tower, defending an area, or fighting a boss. On that note, Eurogun currently only features two boss types, a mech mimic that introduces new skills for you to capture, and this slithery little sneaky snake. I think I fought some combination of each about five times before my three or so hours in early access came to a close. So at $15, I can't call Eurogun a steal, so here's to hoping the devs keep piling new content to top their solid gameplay foundation. While they're at it, why not show the story some love? Because at the moment, Eurogun's plot is aggressively simple. As a powerful mech battle unit, your task is to find your pilot, who happens to be your dearest friend. You will have to travel the world, searching for clues, learning about what happened, and the enemy AI won't make it easy. This premise makes for a fine segue into mecha murder, and little else, so I'm going to leave each micrometric here unscored until Eurogun's scrawny skeleton of a story gets some more meat on its steel bones. Finally, a few words on style. Your Gun is a bright and borderline beautiful game, sporting a vibrant color palette that really makes enemy projectiles pop off the page, something critical to any bullet hell. Your attacks, meanwhile, sport solid audio-visual feedback, anchored by above-average sound design. For example, early on I kept combing the user interface for a stamina meter so I could time my dodges. Then I looked and listened a little closer. Replacing traditional menus and icons with these in-game, quote, diegetic elements can make for more immersive gameplay. I'd love to see the devs double down on this. You know, why take player focus away from the fight to check a health bar in the top left every 5 seconds, when your mech's lights could instead gradually change from solid green to yellow to orange to flashing red? 
In conclusion, your gun is currently a fun, if forgettable little shooter with room to grow. While it'll need to flesh out a number of elements before becoming a standout experience, I can currently recommend it to fans of the genre. So, after averaging up our micrometrics, your gun earns a subject to change mega score of 3.27 out of 5. Until next time, this is Scope, and thanks for watching!